In this short video, we're going to set up our Outlook profile on a new computer. In Manassas City Public Schools, this is typically done at the beginning of the school year when a faculty or staff member is receiving their computer for the first time. However, it can also be done throughout the school year if your computer is re-imaged. Please note that Microsoft Outlook is still available through the web app if you're more comfortable, but this profile that you will set up on your computer will give you better access and easier abilities to do different things with your emails and with your Outlook calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Windows menu and I'm going to click on Outlook. It's going to search for my account and there it sees my email address. If I click on advanced options, it gives me the opportunity to set this up manually, but we don't want to do that because it's already preset for us. We're going to go ahead and click on connect. When it asks for an account type, at first glance, we might think, okay, I'm going to go click on Outlook and get started. But keep in mind that our server uses Outlook Exchange. So if you've ever set up your Outlook account on your phone, you'll notice that it's a very similar procedure here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Exchange. It's then going to ask me for my password. And I don't have to enter this every time. Once I've logged into the computer, it will automatically access my email, but it wants to make sure that it knows my password. And that's how to set up your account. I usually uncheck Setup Outlook Mobile on my phone because that's a separate procedure and is usually done better if it's done separately. I'm going to click OK. And while it's loading up, I'm going to right click here. I'm going to say pin to taskbar. That way, when I close Outlook, the icon remains and it's a lot easier to access my Outlook account. So that's how to set up your Outlook account. If you have any questions or if you would ever like to see this again or see this in person, please feel free to access your instructional technology training specialist for more information.